Hello, car mechanic simulator fans. Let's see. Let's do an exhaust and transmission order on a coupe. Wow. Nothing but ugly cars today. Did a couple of videos earlier today. Gonna wrap up the night doing one more. I've talked before about how later in the game you can build cars however you want them. This is the swap options. It's got a four-cylinder turbocharged engine, but it's got a bunch of options that you could tear this car apart and put something else in there. You know, if you're into that kind of thing. Metal muffler. All the clutch parts. Let me guess. It needs a transmission. Let's go find out. pop the hood and see where this transmission is take the starter off before I have to bring the car back down just to take that off because I know I'm gonna have to take that gearbox off so I might as well get this part done now yeah, it's brown and green on that side different green parts on that side man What's going on here? I can't, I can't figure out what I'm doing here. There, and it slid. It wouldn't light up and let me click on it there for a second. That was weird. All right, we know the middle exhaust is bad. We gotta take off the front wheels to get to the gearbox. Let's just do that. Some nice wide wheels on this thing. Axle out. Looks like the axle's okay. You just gotta get that out to get to the drive shaft and then take the transmission out and then we'll check the flywheel and all that stuff. There was one part that it wouldn't let me see. It was an unknown part. I'm gonna bet that was the transmission. Or the gearbox, I should say. Because the gearbox wasn't listed as one of the parts that needs replacing. Almost always going to need these four parts right here. It's the first, f it's four of the first five parts. Uh, when you're doing a gearbox, you're always going to need the clutch plate, the pressure plate, the release bearing, and the flywheel. Later on in the game, you'll be able to repair clutch plates, but you'll always need these other three. Well, you'll be buying them quite often. We'll just put it that way. Did I buy the middle muffler? Yeah, I did. See if this does it for us. It's a crazy world, folks. Lots of evil. This has been a bad weekend for shootings. There's just craziness all over the place. Count your blessings. If you get to sit home and play a video game or hang out with your family watching TV. Go to picnics. Man. Seeing all this stuff going on. Drives me a little crazy. Come on.
we gotta stop putting these people's names in the news reports. Stop making them think they're getting famous just because they go out and do something stupid that makes the news. Bit of a downer, sorry. It's just been a bad weekend, so. What else was missing? Let's see if that's it. Loud gearbox, rough there. Let's just go put the starter back on. We can start talking about more positive things. I didn't mean to be such a downer. Um, I was telling a buddy of mine I haven't gotten my motorcycle as out as... What am I doing? I was thinking I had to go back under it for some reason. Whatever. We spent 2800 to make 8200 I'll take that. I was telling a buddy of mine today that I haven't gotten my motorcycle out as much this summer as I have in the past couple of summers. Um... Let's save this mission, or the story mission, for some other time. Uh, oil change, suspension, and timing. And it's on an old one. Let's do that. I've only ridden my motorcycle like 500 miles this summer so far. And that is a bit of a disappointment. The whole first half of the summer was just raining so much it was like nearly impossible to do, but now it's too hot. I don't want to ride and be sweating the whole time before I'm sweaty when I show up to where I'm going. Oh yeah, there's the water pump always bad, so we could just start right up here. Probably said it needs. Oh, I should even check the list of jobs to do. Timing chain, water pump, water pump pulley, cam gear. Okay. Change the oil. Running gear faults. And then leaf springs, tie rods. This one might take some time. All right, let's get this front end on, and we'll worry about the rest when we get to it. Looks bad. said the timing chain was bad. Yep. And there's the cam gear. I think that was it. Timing chain, water pump, pulley, and cam gear. Okay. Alright, let's put that stuff back together. I'm going to get this cam gear first. That was the old head. What's the overhead valve one? Um, water pump and pulley. Water pump pulley is another one you won't be able to repair a lot. You're just going to have to buy it every time you need to replace it. No um, in the time you're cheating. Just Get those back together. Oh, that wasn't it. What happened? Over 
overhead valve F. I bought the wrong time chain. Two overhead valve C. That water pump pulley should be this right one, though. I think there's only one of those in the game. No, I'll have a new overhead valve V8 water pump available the next time I build one of those. Couldn't see it from the other side. Let me check the list again and just make sure some of the stuff's not on there. Okay, so it's going to be all suspension parts, I guess. All the rest of them. Since it didn't say ignition coil, we'll put that back on. And I'm not sure if it is under the car. All right, in case you forgot how to do an oil change, you just move this underneath the car. Left click use equipment and it will drain the oil just wait till it's done and then move it back to its original location that's out of the way now we can do that oh. a v8 oil filter hmm. looks like some of the suspension pieces over there might not be that great and put it on before we forget. I wonder if that's on there. I've got to see what that number is that requires replacing. It's not on there. So 39% must be good. According to this car's owner. 43. There's the wheel hub bearing. There's one. and the wheel hub bearing. See, these tie rods look okay. So it must be the other side. One of those bushings was bad, but it doesn't tell you which one. arm. One bushing was bad, one was good. Well, I don't know if it was good, but it was 50%, so it was good enough. So both of those bottom bushings are good, just the arm is bad. Let's put that before put that together before we forget. So we need steering knuckle C. up here. It's 
front steering nipple see that's what it's called I'm gonna go ahead and buy those tie rod parts um, I'm gonna bet that I have bushings I need the upper suspension on them. bearing I needed and the front what's it called front axle front wheel hub that's what it's called I couldn't think of what it was called just gotta look for it find it eventually the knuckle cover was good there's the new front wheel hub. Bearing, put the old disc on. This is what a hubcap looks like. Not the thing that goes on the outside of a steel wheel. front end link B. That might be the front end one. Well, yeah, because I didn't take off the other side, so it's got to be this side. That's why all those things were still red, because I didn't put them together yet. Hello. Alright, I'm going to put the 100% one in the second location and use the used one in the second position and see if that gives me a good enough I don't remember what percentage that good bushing was I thought it was 50 something so we'll put a 60 percenter in there and see what it looks like it says I got the rubber bushing right so that's good let's see if we can get the, oh the bottom one was both bushings were good so bottom suspension on Good thing it's first on the list. Don't worry, you'll get to the point where you remember these parts are on the uh, the internet website, I guess you could call it. You'll remember where to look for them so you can find them real fast. They're in alphabetical order, but basically I remember where they're at on the page more than I remember, more than I actually look for them. The whole double wishbone and fluid shock absorber is bad, so let me go fix that real quick. Actually, I guess I don't need to take those apart to learn. I could just buy the new ones and put them together and when it's on the car it'll know I know. Count to ten, bite your nails, now it's ready. I need that new, yep. It's called a sway bar, front end link. We always need the B. Well, not always. Most of the time you need the B. Some of those bushings need to be done. A leaf spring U bolt. One, two, three, four, five parts left. Alright, let's go to the other side and put those tie rods together and then we'll work on the back axle.
actually don't need to take that off. Let's take these off. I was at my church's annual picnic this today. Almost said this year. Today I was there. And one of the youngsters who just graduated high school told me he's watching my YouTube videos. Thought that was kind of cool. Let's see. Do I want to take all these apart just to see? Let me just examine it. Maybe that'll tell me. 43. That looks okay. But the other hub was... The other wheel bearing was... See if this one's bad. Oh, that one's good. So I'll just put this all back together and hope that's it. I know the oil. All right, it's time to go look on that leaf spring in the back. See what's going on. That one looks bad. Actually, this one looks worse than that one on the other side, so we'll assume this is the bad one. I guess that's not an assumption. It's a guess based on the visual inspection. U bolts gone. So both plates are bad. Man, I, I'm not paying attention to which U-bolt is bad. Oh, both U-bolts on that side are bad. And the leaf spring. And the plate. So let's just buy those parts. Most of these are under the heading, under leaf spring. Um, I said both of them were bad, so let's just buy the ones for this side. didn't say the uh, bushings were bad, I don't think. I might be able to reuse the old bushings. One more plate, three more parts. So I'm going to put those same bushings back in. Use the two best used ones I have. Uh, both of those U bolts look okay. back on at our 48% each and then we shall start looking for those other pieces that are bad this axle looks like it's bad actually 12% of course I took everything off I gotta take everything off to get the axle after I just put all that new stuff on. That's only one of the parts we need to replace. Still gotta find the other one. The knuckle housing looks good. Shock absorber 49%.
wheels is bad. things it looks like it might need to look at. Oh, there's a knuckle housing that looks bad. Um, I'm going to take it out and look at it. 39%. Oh, so we got everything now. Knuckle housing and our axle. Let's put that back in. This one little job just seems to be taking forever. Paying me back for all those jobs I said were easy this morning. That's why. Leaf spring rear drive axle. Alright, let's see what else we need to buy. for new. Um, pretty sure these were good. It was the other side that needed the new ones. the better of the two. Let's go ahead and put that drive shaft in while we're being annoyed by it. in a drive axle. Gotta check that one. Solid rear drive axle, that's not... Okay, so I must have taken out and not realized that it needed to be replaced, but since it's got a red X, that means I've got this one in the wrong spot. I didn't know that. Well, I bought the new one, so I must have noticed it was on the list. I don't remember. Maybe I had this one left over from a previous job and I just never got rid of it. guys I'll get it figured out we'll get this car put back together eventually it'll just be 10 minutes of me making mistakes before I figure out what I'm supposed to do brake shoes are all the same brake drums drums should be all the same shock 
absorbers all suck. Let's put those back on. This leaf spring was new. Plate was new. Bolts are new. And I don't know if I wanted knuckle housing. Nope, I didn't. Rear knuckle housing B. There it is. Last time I gotta scroll through all these bushings to get this done. Drum cylinder is good. This should be the new one. Well, let's check it before we do it wrong again. Everything's green. Alright. Everything's green. Gotta put new engine oil in it. That'll be good. Okay. Just put all the old parts on now. It would be just like this game to say one of these rims is bad and just hide it in there. Thinking you won't find it. You gotta be a little clever in this game thinking outside the box. Sometimes they'll throw something in there, miscellaneous wise, just to see if you're paying attention. It looks like this is going to be the only, the last job I do on this video, guys. The uh, first one was nice and short, but the second one, man, the this, this second job has just been taking forever. So we'll end the video after we give this car back to the customer. Review how much money we made. Just make sure again we got everything done. Wow, well, that was a pretty good uh, extensive list. 2300 bucks spent to make 6600 So we're up to $35,000 now. So let me just go ahead and sell, give that car back to the customer. Let me just show you. The uh, door over here is where you would go to look at the map and go to your barns and stuff. So, I always go to the abandoned airport when I need to test drive a car. It's a big abandoned airport. It's not just a clever name. Just go real fast in a big circle. Uh, it's got like a center part of the airport that's uh, barricaded off, so it ends up being like a big abandoned circle racetrack. Uh, junkyard, probably won't let me go to yet. There's a bunch of barns over here where you can go look for barn finds on those kind of treasure looking, treasure map looking things. But you have to unlock that option first on our, I don't know if it's a skill thing or if you have to be level 15. I forget exactly what it is, but obviously it's not open yet or else they would show up there. So for now, we're just collecting money, trying to level up and get as many perks as we can. Hmm. Let's go ahead and do that. Successful repair up to 75%. A lot of diagnostic stuff. for the barns. I 
thought there was a level you had to reach before you could go to Barnes. find it. Maybe it's just an option that unlocks. Maybe it's not a skill progression kind of a thing. Maybe it's just a skill that unlocks when you reach a certain level. Um, I wish I could go to the junkyard and show you what we can do there, but unfortunately right now it's just not an option. Got enough money to go to the junkyard. Just can't get there yet. So we'll wrap this video up for now and I'll see you next time.